Well, less than ideal race conditions today for the first day of the Honda Indy, but fans who were willing to brave all that rain got a free show. Fan Friday means that there's free admission to anyone at the Indy action, including the practice runs. Trevor Dunn is joining us live now from the track. And Trevor, tell us more about how the rain impacted the day's activities. Well, Emery, it definitely slowed things down in terms of attendance and out there on the track. A little slick on those turns. They're definitely getting the rain tires on, but plenty of action on the track today. It's Fan Friday, free admission, gearing up for the big race, but without one big name. The roar on the lake shore is back. Engines blasting high speeds and higher volume. They're cool. I like them. Uh, they're fun. I like watching them. All you need to get in today is a donation to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You can sit anywhere. It's a big draw for families. It's fun and uh, we like to come out and see all the different cars and uh, especially on a day like this you get to pick which seat you want. Especially with the little activities that they have and uh, you know they, they don't tend to stand still. So this guy's from India, oh, she's from India and her's from India. It's this family's first time at the Indy. The speed uh, and the different varieties of the cars all, all good to me and new to me. Away from the track, fans can get up close with the cars. Indoors, the next generation of drivers training on race simulators. Well, it's not exactly racing weather today, but organizers expect a big turnout this weekend. They say the race brings millions of dollars into the city. The event's broadcast live for 200, 200 countries around the world. It's $50 million in economic impact. There are big name drivers in town, and one in particular fans want to see. But Oakville's James Hinchcliffe will watch the race from the sidelines. He's still recovering from this terrible crash in Indianapolis last month. Fans settled for this cardboard cutout and signing his Get Well Soon card. It's the first time in race history a Canadian driver won't participate in the Toronto Indy. Another setback for organizers who are dealing with holding the race in June instead of July because of the Pan Am Games. The success of the event is not hinge on one driver in particular. Again, it's more about world-class drivers, the festival of that atmosphere. Well, the good news about James Hinchcliffe is that he will be here on Sunday, just not racing. He's been selected and given medical clearance. He had quite the injury to be the race's grand marshal. So he'll be the one giving the command, drivers, start your very loud engines. Reporting live from Pitt Lane at the Honda Indy, I'm Trevor Dunn. Thank you, Trevor.